Hi, I'm Anthony Darbanese, Product Manager for Deutsche Fire Trackers Australia. And here today, I want to explain how the new 6 Series RC ship transmission works. Okay, we've just started the new 6 Series RC ship tractor up. And in front of us, we see a new dash and display. This new display is called the InfoCenter Pro. It will not only give us information regarding the tractor, but will also display us information regarding the gearbox. The new letter and number scheme developed by Deutsche Fahr tells us what range and power shift speed we have selected. The numbers identify the range, and we have five choices to choose from. And the letters identify the power shift speed, and we have six choices to choose from. When reverse gear is selected, you will only have three choices to choose from as it's only three speed power shift in reverse. The new RC shift possesses four driving modes. The first mode we have is manual mode, and this is where, as an operator, you have full control of the tractor gearbox, where you can select the gear that you want to drive in. By hitting our UPS button located under the armrest, we can change our mode, and the next mode we have is semi-auto. This is where we can choose the range that we want to work with, and the tractor will shift up and down through the power shift speeds automatically. The third mode is full auto field. This is an automatic mode, and this is to be used within field. This will not only change through the power shift speeds, but also change automatically through the ranges. And the last mode that we have to choose is for when we are roading. And again, like our full auto field mode, it not only changes through the power shift speeds, but also through the range changes. Here we are in manual mode. In this mode, we can control the gearbox of the tractor manually. By pushing the lever forward located on the armrest unit, it will change our power shift speeds up, and putting the lever back will decrease our power shift speeds. To change our range, what we do is hold the consent button on the lever and push either forward or backwards, and this will change our range. When we do a range change, it will speed match automatically up and down to our vehicle speed. We are now in semi-auto mode, and this mode gives us the ability as the operator to choose the range that we want to work in, and the tractor will shift automatically through the power shift speeds. Here we have a couple of colours also on the dash which I'd like to explain. Green, which highlights the power shift A, is our minimum speed that it can select. And blue, which highlights the letter F, is our maximum speed selected which means the tractor has the ability to shift through the full six power shift speeds. We as the operator can also change the parameters where the tractor can shift only through five, four, three, or even two power shift speeds depending on the task at hand. We have now selected full auto field mode and the tractor has now full automation through the gearbox where it will shift through all the power shift speeds automatically as well as the ranges determining on the load of the tractor as well as the speed that you wish to undertake. Here we can see the colours again with green highlighted our minimum speed. So our minimum speed is gear 1, power shift speed C and our maximum speed is set at 3D. We as the operator can also change the speed range that it can work with, so we can do the optimum range changes and power shift speeds determined on the task at hand. We have now selected the last and final mode of the RC shift transmission, which is full auto road. This mode simulates the same automation principles as full auto field mode, but gives us the ability to select a higher ranges for transport applications. Again, we can set the minimum range and power shift speed, and also the maximum range and power shift speed, so we can get the best out of the tractor when transporting.